How Powerful is Calderam Aqualad from the Young Justice TV series. Aqualad, also known as Calderam, is an Atlantean born from the Atlantean Shalina and his human father, Black Manta. He works alongside Aquaman and his team members and then eventually becoming the leader of the Justice League. Calder is able to manipulate Atlantean magic to create powerful water elemental attacks like creating a water dragon to swamp the field. He can form a giant hydrokinetic fist attack. Calder can even channel his Atlantean magic into other magical beings like Zatanna to make her spells more powerful. Although it's stated that his sorcery skills are lacking due to him focusing more on being a hero rather than his magic abilities. Aqualad can cast spells such as a translation spell, which allows an individual to speak and understand the Atlantean language instantly. Being an Atlantean, he is able to survive and adapt to underwater environments. Capable of moving around naturally, endure undersea pressure and extreme water temperatures. Calder has the power of hydrokinesis, the ability to completely control the element of water. He's able to seize control over water and practically do whatever he desires with it, like creating a water vortex by manipulating water that is available in the area. He can use his water powers to reach very high up into the air. He is able to hydrokinetically hurl pumps of water. He can grab objects from long range with water. He has the power to manipulate all the surrounding water around him to create a giant wall of water in order to protect a room full of people from an explosion. With this ability, he is able to overwhelm a horde of people by manipulating large volumes of nearby water and hit them with powerful crushing force. He is even displayed being capable of phase changing the state of water from liquid into ice. He's even performed feats of transforming water into ice to create a slide. Aqualad has the power to control and produce electric shocks. He's able to shock someone through physical contact. It can range from stun to paralysis and possibly kill his opponents. His electric powers are strong enough to breach a force field. Calder can even utilize his water abilities and follow it up with a powerful electric current to fry his opponents. Taking advantage of how water can conduct electricity which can provide him with an opportunity to blast his foes with a devastating electric attack. Grabbing his opponents with water whips and then electrocuting them. He can even access his electric powers underwater. Aqualad has the power to absorb electricity into his body. He can solidify water into hard water constructs through his twin hilt weapons called the Water Bearers. Using this tool allows him to fashion water into any weapon or anything he wants. He can instantly change his weapons on the fly to another weapon he needs. He can make water swords, which he uses with almost expert precision and ease in a battle. He can make water hammers to smash against strong beings like Superboy and swat away humans like a fly. He can produce water shields to defend against bullets. It's strong enough to block Blue Beetle's burning plasma cannon and Black Manta's laser blast. He's able to form water whips to swipe at his enemies, which can also destroy turrets, giant water blades for cutting, spiked maces to beat down Kryptonian level beings. He can create water drills which he can use to tunnel his way underground and through hard surfaces. He can breathe underwater through the gills located on his neck. He is immune to the cold. He has some immunity to poisons of sea creatures like the jellyfish toxin. He has high durability, able to tank physical punishment that would kill an average human. He can endure electrical assaults, can endure powerful grip holds strong hits from Kryptonians, being blasted by Black Beetle's sonic cannon, and being thrown around colliding with buildings. Calder possesses superhuman strength, he can pry open metal doors, can deliver strong kicks, and rip off metal pylons. He has superhuman reflexes, able to intercept treasure shurikens, and even her side blades. He has superhuman agility, 
He is multilingual. Calder is a master level swimmer. He is a competent combatant. Having trained extensively with Black Canary and his fellow team members, he can perform combination attacks with members like Artemis, able to subdue his opponents in holds. He can also use his physical skills and his water abilities together for effective fighting attacks. He is an expert strategist, capable of planning several steps ahead. One of his greatest accomplishments is when he not only exposed the plans of the Reach and the Light to both groups, revealing their treachery against each other, but also created a very well laid strategy like taking down Deathstroke before the summit, gathering all of his team members together. Even when Vandal Savage summoned more soldiers to take them down, Aqualad displayed even more planning by having his friends disguised as the soldiers themselves, taking out all of the Light's contingencies well before the summit took place, allowing him to lead them all to victory, crippling both the Reach and the Light in half. When Aqualad went undercover to join his father, he wore an identical Black Mantis suit which allowed him to launch missiles and shoot laser blasts that are powerful enough to damage Aquaman. Calder once donned a helmet of Dr. Fate, gaining impressive magical abilities like the power to fly, harness vast mystical forces, create magical barriers and shields for defense, and can use his magic to neutralize Joker Venom spores completely to keep his team safe from its effects. Despite his amazing aquatic abilities, he does possess a weakness. Due to his Atlantean physiology, he is susceptible to extreme heat. Like fighting opponents who can manipulate fire is hazardous for him, being trapped in a hot lava pit, or simply being out in the desert for too long can dehydrate and kill him. He is a half-human, half-Atlantean hybrid, and he is in his 20s. Aqualad is a sea dweller, a powerful hydrokinetic user, a strong, confident leader who fights for justice and for all.